Hi guys. This this video is about the upper cross syndrome. So that's your general upper cross syndrome posture. What it looks like, similar to that, where your chin poke here, meaning that the muscles, the neck flexor muscles here, are long and weak, keeping your 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 neck in a cervical hyperextension at the back of the neck, and uh, because uh, your neck neck extensor muscles here are short and tight in constant contraction. Same with your your chest muscles here. They're, they're, they're short and tight with the anterior deltoids as well, pulling the shoulders forward and causing the, um, the opposite muscle groups like the posterior deltoids and the muscles between the shoulder blades being the rhomboids, the middle trape trapezius muscles, they'll be long and weak. And uh, therefore, your, your shoulders won't be in a healthy position. They won't be back. And those muscles will be long and weak, stretch, stretched out. So what you want to do here is Stretch, stretch the muscles that are short and tight, such as uh, the one neck extensors causing the chin poke and the chest and the anterior deltoids, and strengthen the long and weak ones, such as your upper back muscles and your muscles at the front of the neck. And you will have a better alignment, better posture, shoulders will be back, the joints will be lined up, and uh, also better position to produce force. I mean, just because your chest is, long, uh, is short and tight, doesn't mean that you're very strong there. Because first off, you're in better, when your shoulders are back, you're in a better position for pushing movements anyway. So you're going to have a stronger bench press. But anyways, studies have shown that if your muscles are are too too tight or too weak, they're in a they're not in an optimal position for force production. So just because your muscles here are short and tight, doesn't mean they're strong at all. So all muscles will have to be strengthened. But particularly the ones that are short and tight, they'll need to be, they'll be need to be stretched. They'll need to be stretched out, such as the front of the shoulders and the chest muscles, as opposed to the, um, the scapula stabilizer muscles. They need they'll need to be strengthened because they're always always in a stretched out position all day. So stretching is not going to be important for for it in the, in a, in terms of your upper, upper cross syndrome. Thanks for watching. I'll have videos to come up on stretching and strengthening exercises for all the muscles involved in the upper cross syndrome. Uh, thanks for watching again, like and subscribe.